Hey guys, it's Whips here, back with another video, and today we're going to be looking into the most forgotten mistake within Sea of Thieves. But real quick here, 91% of you guys are not subscribed. We are so very close to 2k subs, I believe we are less than 40 away. It would mean the absolute world if you guys could all sub up. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. Now when looking into Sea of Thieves, it's pretty clear that this game is a cosmetic based game, meaning that everything you do, you are hoping to get that brand new cosmetic. All the gold you dig up, all the skeletons you kill, you're hoping to get that new hat. All the tall tales you do, you're hoping to get that curse. This is what cosmetic based games look like, and it's exactly what Sea of Thieves is. So where am I going with this? Well, basically, Sea of Thieves has three main exclusive sets inside of Sea of Thieves. Now, I'm not talking about the Silver Blade, and I'm not talking about any other side of cosmetics. I'm talking about the three main that were first introduced as an exclusive and time-limited reward. Now, the first one being the Black Dog set. As a lot of you guys know, this is extremely sought after within Sea of Thieves. To unlock the Black Dog set, it was pretty simple. You had to pre-order the game, making this extremely sought after. Online, this roughly sells for about $1,000, making this clearly very sought after. And it was one of three of the main first exclusive items added to Sea of Thieves. Now you're probably wondering, what is the second set? Well, basically this is going to be the Ferryman set, which is very known inside of Sea of Thieves. This was a little bit different. You actually had to purchase a controller and then you would get the clothing set. And you'd also have a chance of either getting the blunderbuss, sword, or pistol. Now you would know what you were going to get. It was just on the controller. But whatever one you would buy is obviously what you get. Now this is going to be the second set within this. So what possibly could be the third? Now, the third edition of this set actually marks the biggest mistake within Sea of Thieves, and this is going to be the Mercenary set. Now, I know you're probably thinking, well, this is in the shop right now. What is so mistaken about this? Well, this actually, believe it or not, used to be an exclusive reward, and this is something I've been wanting to talk about a lot lately on the channel. Basically, this was introduced into a pack which just involved three months of Xbox Live. Obviously, everybody needs this, so honestly, a lot of people probably had this, but the thing is, is you would unlock the Mercenary set if you bought it exclusively within this pack. Now, the thing is, is they actually brought this set back, which made so many people mad. Why not the Ferryman set? Why not the Black Dog set? Why bring it back in general? Now, the reason for this really still has not been explained. Nobody really knows why the Mercenary set came back. Obviously, this set is still obtainable today. Anybody can get it, which makes this no longer rare. However, the ship set is still extremely rare. It was introduced with the Mercenary Voyages. But this made a lot of people mad. Why would you bring back an exclusive reward? And like I said, Rare never really responded. And it was one of the biggest mistakes that was just forgotten. When the game first came out, everybody talked about this. Meanwhile, you look at this topic today, I'm virtually the only person who has talked about it. It's absolutely insane that this set was just completely spit on. It makes no sense as to why this just came back, and it really makes us beg the question, could the Black Dog set ever return? Could the Ferryman set ever return? In my personal opinion, I don't think you can. I don't think this ever would. Basically, this has gone on for too long. These items are way too rare now. Like I said, these are selling for thousands of dollars. If you have the mercenary set on your account, nobody cares. So I think it would be so foolish of Rare to bring this back, any of these sets back. But still, why would you bring back the mercenary set? And like I said, still to this day, nobody knows exactly why Rare brought this back, but what we can confirm is that Rare does like to panic on stuff like this. For example, look at the Victoria Sea Dog Blunderbuss. They brought this back, took it away, brought it back. They just panic, and I think that's something that Rare tends to do. I don't know why you'd ever even make any moves like these, but they tend to do so. But yeah, with that, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, the support recently has been absolutely insane from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you guys learned something. If you guys did, Leave like a weird emoji. I don't know. Leave a pirate flag emoji. With that, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys. Take it easy. Peace.